What's up? What's up? What it do, Bean Crew? It's your boy, Savon Thomas, back with another episode of Coffee and Comments. Today, we're going to review the movie Adrift. I uh, found this on Netflix when I was watching it over Christmas. And I wouldn't have normally watched this. <sighs> Let me back up. I would have watched this. I When I clicked this movie, I thought it was a survival tactics like type movie you know so much like um i don't know like you're stranded on a desert island and you're trying to figure it out or an open sea type deal where you're stuck in the sea um and it wasn't that so it stars shailene woodley which i didn't even know who she I, I knew i knew who she was i just didn't recognize her like i i knew the name i knew the face i knew the name because she, she's married to aaron Rodgers or her fiance or whatever their relationship is um so i knew who she was um and I knew her face because I've seen her in the, in the Divergent series, I Fall in Our Stars, obviously. So I knew the name. I knew who she was. I just didn't put the two together. And so when I saw this movie, I was like, oh, starring Shailene Woodley. And I saw her face. I was like, oh, that's Shailene Woodley. Like, I even tweeted that out. I was like, I finally know who Shailene Woodley is. Um, and and so I watched this movie because I'm like, okay, it drift. It looked like, you know, there's a, there's a big disaster. She's going to be stuck at sea. Yes, she has to like figure out life um, on Etsy, and that's not what I got. <laughs> that's not what I got. It is definitely a slow burn, but the ending is really good. It shows the buildup of a love story with the survival story of them surviving for 41 days on the boat, and those are kind of intertwined. I would have preferred that they show the love in the beginning, Maybe spend 15, 20 minutes talking about the relationship, them getting on the boat, then then leading to the big storm, and that taking, I don't know, maybe, I mean, this movie was an hour and 30 minutes, so that taking 30 minutes of it, and then the survival story past that. But then when watching it, I realized that they didn't really have much for the survival story other than her uh, having to, you know, figure out drinking water. Because she was, I mean, there, there was no island. She didn't find an island. Um, she just had to survive an ocean. So that was, I, I realized when watching it, the reason why they did that and how they intertwined it is because it wasn't a huge survival story. Like, she never found land. Because, again, they're, they're basing this off a true story. So there's only so much you can work with. So they have to intertwine a love story with that. So first, I was a little pissed and I was clean about it. Um... But the ending is really good because it showcases the storm, how they navigate that, which I was like, man, I should put the storm in the beginning, like 30 minute mark, because then I would have been super more intrigued. I literally was just sitting there tweeting, watching a movie. Um, and and then there's a twist at the end that I did not expect. And for me, that's rare because I think about everything. I am always trying to figure out what is going on in a movie. And this one, I, I did not expect it. Maybe because I was tweeting and I wasn't paying a ton of attention to the movie. That might have been why I didn't expect it. But the twist at the end, I was like, dang, this was good. And so I literally, this movie in my mind, it was like a six. I was like, man, this is like a 6.3, 6.5 maybe. And then the ending with Storm and then the end. 100% made up for it and now like if you, if you look at my if you look at my um tweets I literally tweeted wow uh just because <laughs> I was not expecting that and it, it made the movie better again I, I give this movie 7.2 uh even though it was slow slow for a long time it was a great great finish and so Watch it if you want to. Again, this is on Netflix. I watched a lot of Netflix movies recently. It's because it's the easiest thing. I have it. Um, but it's on Netflix. Check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Coffee and comments.